Activate and Starship have been working together for, I want to say, about five years. And um, I just wanted to take the opportunity to kind of give you guys a demonstration on what Activate can do for your business, especially if we're using QuickBooks Online already, or even QuickBooks Desktop. But QuickBooks Online is one of our the newer um, integrations that Activate now has. And what Activate essentially does with uh, QuickBooks is we will handle all of the operations side of your business, um, while QuickBooks handles the accounting, which is what it's good at. So with Activate, you will get inventory control. You'll be able to have multiple warehouses, landed cost, lot and serial control, um, as well as actual costing, manufacturing, barcode scanning. And then we've got our order fulfillment side. So to get your orders into Activate, we do integrate with e-commerce and EDI. We can do batch processing with our order manager. We have workflows, so that way then, whenever you are looking in Starship, to see what your orders are that are ready to ship out, you're able to see those. And then we have advanced picking, some manufacturing uh, with assemblies and kits, and then the integration with Starship. QuickBooks is still gonna handle the two-way sync, um, or sorry, we have a two-way sync with QuickBooks. QuickBooks is still gonna handle the accounting. Um, this is a little bit better of a visual on what's gonna be happening within QuickBooks what's gonna be happening with that, activate. And then in the middle here, we have some things that are managed in maybe one or the other, but they are um, sent into the other system. So an example is uh, accounts. QuickBooks will still be responsible for the chart of accounts, creating GL accounts, making any changes to those, but those accounts will sync over into activate. So that way then um, you can select the proper accounts for your sales, your cost of goods sold, your AR, AP, and so forth that activate will be posting into QuickBooks Online for you. The um, things that QuickBooks is gonna handle is of course the year accounting, but um, you know, deposits, bill payments, expenses, things that are purely accounting functions. And then Activate is going to take over the product list. You're going to be able to sync customers back and forth, sync invoices um, from Activate to QuickBooks, and so forth. So as far as getting um, your actual orders into Activate, we've got our web stores and EDI um, partners that we work with on a regular basis. These are just a few of them. We do have quite a few other web stores that we work with, but these are the top ones that we see right now. Um, and then of course we also do um, integrate with other email and other applications as well. So what this looks like is when we are talking about bringing in orders from Shopify, those would come in from Shopify to activate. Once those orders are in activate, loaded it through, you've got the fulfillment side done, then those orders will go into Starship to be shipped and then sent back into Activate. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Starship key features, but just to go over them really quickly, um, you can absolutely handle the multi-carriers because not everybody's going to use just one carrier. Um, within Starship, you can absolutely see the differences between prices from one carrier to another. Um, so you can do that rate shopping from a single screen. Then we've got um, the ability in Activate to put in document processing. But honestly, I would recommend doing that in Starship just because it's a little bit easier for the documents to be saved there for the hazmat international processing and so forth. Um, the freight rules and Starship are also fantastic. I really um, have had a couple of customers utilize those across multiple facets of their business, either creating um, unique rules for the automation to bring in um, packages and then write things back with the appropriate um, shipping charges and things like that. And then of course the third party and drop shipping. Now with the integration with Activate, I've kind of gone over it a little bit, but the workflow status can come from Activate to Starship to show this order is now ready to be um, shipped. We will also be able to send over shipment documents and or sales orders. So what a shipment document is, is it's a prepackaged shipment that you would set up with an Activate. Um, typically this is done for EDI, 
um, kinds of orders where we are talking about needing a UCC 128 shipment, um, sorry, document. And then um, that shipment would be sent into Starship with all of the um, packages selected showing, you know, this product was in package two out of three, this product was in package three out of three, and so forth. And then the integration with um, Starship and Activate also brings in freight cost um, into Activate as well. So that way then we can let you know in reports and Activate later on what the actual freight cost was versus what you charge the customer on your sales order. With the uh, real-time integration as well, there are no delays. Um, when we're talking about the integration between Activate and Starship, it's done between the two databases themselves. And what that means is that I can key in a order number into Starship from Activate and it will pull it up immediately. Or I can search in Starship for a particular workflow status and it will pull up all of my orders that are currently in that status in Activate. Now, when I got involved with Starship was about four years ago, and I was doing the integration for JS Royal Home. JS Royal Home has worked with Activate for a number of years. They are one of the big sus subsidiaries for bedding manufacturers here in the US. And um, what they do is a lot of EDI packages. One of the biggest things that they were dealing with was being able to print a label and a packing slip at the same time. It seems pretty simple, but when you're printing the label from one system and the packing slip from another, you typically can't print them at the same time or even have them match up in the same order. So JS Royal Home was spending a lot of time actually taking their orders and putting them into a certain um, order in their you know, stack and actually you know, then having to find the label that coincided with that order. And so what we did, is in Starship, you have the opportunity to bring in the packing slip into Starship itself. So what we were able to do is have JS Royal Home print one sheet of paper that included the label and the packing slip all in one. So all their team had to do was take the label off of that packing slip and put it on the box and slip the packing slip inside. So it made it a lot easier. I believe the last time I talked to them, they mentioned that it saved them at least six hours a week to not have to print them out separately and instead print the packing slip and the label on the same sheet. Another um, good case study for Activate is Kind Snacks. Um, they worked with QuickBooks for a number of years before utilizing Activate. And it really just made sense for their business to grow without going to a full ERP at first. And that's what a lot of um, people that work with something like Activate realize is they don't need a full ERP that will replace their accounting as well as their operations because QuickBooks does the job for their accounting functions. But with Activate, we can handle the operations side so you don't have to leave QuickBooks. So really fast, I wanted to show you guys just some kind of uh, functions within the Activate system itself. So with Activate, let me pull this up, we've got a number of different um, areas of the system that are gonna really help maximize your efficiency with your fulfillment. So when it comes to managing your purchase orders, that's something that's hard to do within QuickBooks, especially QuickBooks Online as far as getting the information um, in the system as to when you've actually received the product, what you've invoiced as well, and then just managing throughout the whole process, talking with your vendor, emailing back and forth, and so forth. So you'll handle all of that within Activate. Um, and what that would mean is that the purchase orders themselves would not go into QuickBooks, but the vendor bills that we create and the receipts that we create will go into QuickBooks for your general ledger and for your AP. You'll still pay your bills through QuickBooks just like you do now, but Activate will be the source of the costing for all of your materials. And so that is why we will put those transactions into Activate first for those receipts. 
other aspects of the system that I spend a lot of time talking to companies that don't have an, a system outside of QuickBooks is uh, landed cost. And to just show you a little example, landed cost with Inactivate goes a lot further than what you are used to seeing with QuickBooks because I can get a delivery bill, let's say two, three months later, which happens all the time. And I can go in here and I can allocate it to a particular purchase order receipt based on whatever kind of allocation percentage I would like. So if I bring in multiple POs here, we'll see we have a list of items now to allocate this $1,000 to. And now I can hit allocate by, allocate by the quantity, value, etc. When we're talking about the landed cost with Activate, we are able to, as long as the accounting period is still open, post this entry that will allocate the material or al allocate the quantity, sorry, the value, um, into the cost of the goods themselves, even if I've already sold them. And that's something that you're not going to get with uh, QuickBooks unless you are putting in the bill right at the time that you are putting in the invoice from the vendor. But when we're talking about the integration with Starship, we are talking about utilizing our order manager to help you actually see where your orders are in the process of being completed. So in my order manager here, I've got a view that my warehouse would use. They can see what is ready to pick, what is pick in progress, picked, packaging, shipped, and so forth. So once it gets to the packaging step, let's say, um, you'll be able to see the list of these orders within Starship, select any of those or all of those to start the shipping process on, and then Starship will send the information on the tracking number, shipping charge, and so forth back into Activate and mark the order as shipped. And now at this time, I can go in and say, I want to invoice all of my orders that were shipped, and I can create invoices in batch, so that way then those are sent into QuickBooks. So I'm able to optimize my time, not having to spend a ton of time hand keying um, addresses, products, various other fields into Starship. And instead, I'm able to spend time growing my business and making sure that all of my customers' orders are fulfilled on time. So when we're talking about uh, QuickBooks Online specifically, you aren't able to do sales orders, but you're also not able to do a lot with inventory in there. And so with Activate, we do have the concept of two different um, quantities. So we have an on-hand quantity for our products, and then we have an available quantity. The on-hand quantity is what you're used to seeing in QuickBooks right now. That's the number that you have on hand. It's physically in your warehouse, and it's the valuation um, that is in QuickBooks as well. But when we're talking about available, available is taking in your total demand on open transactions. Scheduled means that it's scheduled on a sales order or allocated on a sales order. Backordered is the same. Work in progress for anything that I am building or in the process of building. Um, but what this gives you is the ability to see what is actually available after taking into account all of those transactions to see what I can actually sell free and clear to the next customer that calls in. With Activate, we do also have the lot and serial numbers within the system. One of the things that you won't get from uh, QuickBooks is the ability to do actual cost when it comes to our serial numbers and lot numbers. So I can see I bought this particular serial number at $115 whereas I bought um, this one back in 2018 for $30. And when I post the transactions to sell any of those materials, then that is the unit cost that will be used in my cost of goods sold, rather than it being an average of the costs. Other things to keep in mind with Activate is we do have dashboard reports that are a lot more um, robust than what you are typically getting with QuickBooks, when it comes to the dashboard, you can customize them and configure them however you need, have specific filters set up, so then whenever you log into your um, system during the day, you'll be able to see things 
auto refresh according to um, you know whatever report you have set up here. So I can see my top sales orders, and right here is my inventory value. But this is again something that you can change for each user. So as far as Activate goes, there's a lot of things that can go into it, but we're not gonna leave you on your own. <laughs> so with Activate, we are not expecting a full uh, year or more to actually implement the system. We're expecting something more along the lines of 90 days. So what that looks like is we will set up an interview call with one of our um, onboarding specialists. What they will do is take you through all of your um, facets of your business where you're gonna get your data from, whether that's from QuickBooks or from an Excel spreadsheet or from another system. Um, and they will set up a model company. And what that means is that you get to practice and train within this model company without affecting your live QuickBooks data. Once you're done with the training, that takes about 60 days, but once you're done with the training, then we will do your go live. And that is when we will create your actual live company file that is connected to your live QuickBooks, whether that's QuickBooks Online or Desktop. You'll have an additional 30 days to work with that onboarding specialist, make sure that they have answered all of your questions and that you're able to do your daily work within the Activate system. And then you're gonna be transitioned to our support team. And our support team is very robust as well. But during the training, we're actually going to be sending you to our training site. You'll be able to watch videos, articles, things like that to actually learn how to use Activate, and then you'll have that onboarding specialist for additional questions that come up. When it comes to our knowledge base, we also have over 2,000, I think it's actually more than 2,000 now, um, help articles that actually walk you through what an error message means or how to do a particular um, task within Activate and um, make sure that you're able to do all of the tasks that you need to within your day-to-day. -day. When it comes to Activate and our pricing, um, this is our current pricing. It is something that um, does change, but that is something that you'll be able to talk to a Activate salesperson about. Um, but we do have a lifetime license. You are able to purchase the license at the version that we're at now, which is version 12, and then you own Activate um, at that version forever. Um, after your first year, you'll be able to um, sign up for our support contract, which has included your entire first year, and that support contract includes any of our um, updates from our development team as well as uh, unlimited unlimited support from our support team as well. Uh, when it comes to that annual price after your first year, it's only 25% of your license fee, um, which would include any additional users and so forth, but does not include your onboarding. So if you'd like to learn more about Activate and how Activate can help you grow your business, um, keep you on QuickBooks, but be able to grow into something that allows for a lot more operational um, processes that are a little easier for your team to do, allows for less turnover because your um, users are able to do the functions of their job without having to fight a system that doesn't allow them to do all, everything. To contact us, um, go to sales at activate.com. As far as the integration with Starship and Activate goes, it's a very uh, simple integration itself, but it allows you to have a lot more functionality than you would just using one of the systems alone.